It is the 11th of the 9th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Let's go ahead and get started on SOT.net. Newfoundland braces, braces for Leslie landfall, rain already soaking Atlantic Canada. Uh, forecasters say the center of tropical storm Leslie will almost certainly make landfall on Tuesday in Newfoundland, though precisely where is still up for debate. Mystery stench investigators probe foul odor source. Now this is out of California. Investigators are probing the source of a rotten egg odor from the desert to San Fernando Valley. The cause of the smell remains unknown, but some officials believe the bad smell may be coming from a summer storm and a fish die-off at the Salton Sea, although authorities at the Salton Sea initially denied they were the source. And then I go on to, to say uh, possible sources include fish kills, algae blooms, and other biologic conditions in the lakes that can cause strong odors, the statement said. Industrial facilities such as wastewater plants also can cause sulfur, sulfur or odors. Um, so can volcanoes. They don't mention that. Uh, heavy Pakistan monsoon rains triggered flash floods. 78 people dead and more than 1,600 houses destroyed. On the madness in Pakistan continues. Yellowstone wolves hit by disease. Less than two decades after wolves were reintroduced into Yellowstone National Park, viral disease. It's like the mains threaten the stability of the new population. An unexplained power failure plunges western Cuba into darkness. Power failed across a large swath of western Cuba last night, plunging millions of people into darkness, including those in the capital of Havana and at the beach resort. Quote, this is Brooklyn, whoever thought there'd be a tornado, unquote. And these were the storms that took place last week. The cleanup in uh, Canarsie will resume tomorrow after a second, much stronger tornado touched down and created a two-block swath of destruction uh, here in this corner of Brooklyn. And they've got a bunch of videos out on this. Chamber of Molten Rock inflates under Santorini Volcano. Uh, this is in Europe, Greece. New survey suggests that the chamber of molten rock beneath uh, Santorini's volcano expanded 10 to 20 million cubic meters, up to 15 times the size of Lon London's Olympic Stadium between January 2011 and April of 2012. The growth of this balloon of magma has seen the surface of the island rise 8 to 14 centimeters during this period. And of course, we've got another big volcano gearing up. And more tremors at that uh, hydroelectric plant, that big uh, dam in Vietnam. Uh, it was saying uh, residents panic because uh, four consecutive quakes up to 3.4 on the Richter scale in the last four days. This region suffered from 12 quakes. And there's, they're reporting loud explosion sounds too as well, sending people fleeing into the street. Over to the extinction protocol, uh, Indian town of Johar, plagued by loud noises and tremors. Uh, the Thane district additional collector uh, told PTI that the, that told that the intensity of the loud sounds were on the rise, causing concern among citizens. Meanwhile, geological ex experts visited the area on Monday to study the so-called tremors in the area and sm submitted their report to the collector directly. Now, the seismologists, uh, as well as other experts, will also be visiting the region on Tuesday to study the situation. Researchers believe huge underwater volcanic eruptions were part of the last extinction period. A popular opinion holds that an asteroid struck the Earth 65 million years ago, hustling out the age of dinosaurs and allowing the mammals, us, to rise. But new research now paints another picture. With the University of Washington indicating the separate extinction came shortly first, triggered by volcanic eruptions that warmed the planet and killed life on the ocean floor. Well, they suggest by the time of the asteroid impact, life on the seafloor Mostly species of clams and snails were already perishing because of the effects of huge volcanic eruptions uh, in the ocean depths. 
Yeah, giant balloon of magna inflates under Greece's uh, Santorini volcano, of course. And that's about all new they've got going on. So let's just go over to the RSOE. A lot going on in the RSOE today. A volcanic eruption in uh, Nicaragua. The San Cristobal volcano. Uh, of course, the earthquake in China in the aftermath of that. Flash flooding in Afghanistan. Uh, some environmental pollution stories coming out of Japan. More toxic waste in the rivers. Volcanic activity in Greece. Where was that? Of course, forest fires in Alberta, Canada. Uh, flash flooding in Nova Scotia. Flash flooding in China. And we've got an environmental pollution report up on the state of Washington, Richland, the Hanford Nuclear Reservation. Apparently, um, one of the huge uh, double tanks to store nuclear waste uh, has been leaking on reports. Uh, they don't know how much. Uh, they got pictures of that kind of thing. Uh, they're saying this tank holds up to a million gallons, uh, but don't worry, folks, it's only 850,000 gallons in the tank at the time. <sighs> And of course, the forest fires all over the, the Northwest the United States. Uh, we got a channel here, Two Wolves. Uh, the, her channel's name's Warning616. I'll attach a vi uh, link to her video down below as well. Uh, please support Two Wolves. Uh, she's doing an incredible job trying to fill in the, in the greater Idaho area because um, she lives there and is directly involved. And finally, tonight, the nuclear stuff. Let's go ahead and just go to ENE News. NHK Fragile Unit 4, possibly unstable to more quakes in the future. Debris and pool could delay removing fuel rods, and we all knew this was going to happen. Uh, they got this stuff 100 feet in the air, the building's falling apart, and uh, they don't think she can take much more, but of course delays, delays, delays on any kind of um, real uh, help coming out of there trying to get those fuel rods out of there. Quote, don't be a chicken. Mayor tells parents concerned their children are eating radioactive lunches. Quote, the pace of descending into deeper and deeper lunacy seems to be accelerating in Japan. That's an understatement. He should sit down and eat these lunches every day. Top Japan official found hanging had been deputy minister for disaster reconstruction and traveled to Fukushima. Uh, his death, quote, did not appear related to politics. Mm-hmm. A uh, significant quantity of cesium detected along west coast of Japan. Concentrations rise as it gets deeper. And you got to remember we've got three reactors that have melted through containment into the groundwater and are seeping out into the Pacific Ocean where it is accumulating forever. Accumulating. TEPCO admits it will run out of workers in five years unless a way is found to reduce radiation exposure. And they're going to control these things for 250,000 years to make them safe? Give me a break. U.S. University deploys wind turbines that generate about five times as much energy uh, as usual. And they've got photos of this uh, big wind turbine system. Basically, it's a spiral type building that catches and scoops the, the wind better for the four little turbines and it produces way more electricity uh, than the standard big windmill we're all used to looking at. Um, good luck, really. If it's cost effective, let's do it. And Richter 7 Quake would likely crack, drain, and burn Fukushima Unit 4 fuel pool quote, we'd be re reliving March 11th all over again, and we've been warning about this for months and months and months and months. Watch police shoot protester outside nuclear plant. Others jump into the sea to avoid tear gas. Radioactive waste to be buried underground at Fukushima Daiichi. Ten types of Fukushima seafood go on sale in stores. Yum yum, crab, squid, and more. Uh, these are stores that are in the local area, of course. Uh, they're being sold in Japan. NHK tainted water le leaks plaguing Fukushima cleanup. That is a major understatement. V 
video of insane sized tuna, monster fish was targeted for radiation tests before being caught. Quote, it's exactly the size our scientists wanted. And uh, they're saying due to the northern uh, species of this tuna down south where they caught it, uh, they know it, it, it hangs out off the coast of Japan and that's where it breeds and, and uh, winters and stuff. So they're going to use that as a good measure to see how contaminated the tuna really is and uh, our question is will we ever see these reports honestly I mean what's the last one they released damn near a year later and every single one of them was bad government to begin testing fetuses for gene mutations in Fukushima gene, uh, genomic analysis guinea pigs they're all guinea pigs now 20 times more oxygen in reactor number 3 containment vessel than in reactors number 1 or 2. I wonder why. Number 3 was the one that blew up, blew up. And uh, Fukushima Medical University professor onset of re radiation related disease to begin in 4 or 5 years. Data must be gathered now. We shouldn't force upon the people that low doses of radiation exposure is safe. None is safe. There are really no safe levels of radiation exposure when it comes to these isotopes. And, uh, of course, uh, like the, the last video I put up, tsunami debris 800 miles from uh, U.S. waters could be jammed starting next month. School buses, houses tearing up fishermen's nets. And they've got a Fox News report on that. Uh, that's the report I put up last time. Um, what's going to happen when these the tsunami debris starts to clog uh, the shipping lanes and the ports up and down the west coast of the United States. They're saying this debris is twice the size of Texas and uh, it's definitely inbound due to hit right around election time. The insanity continues. It continues. And uh, there's a video running around a plume rising from area outside Fukushima reactors and it almost looks like there was a fire and a small explosion kind of thing. Uh, I will find and attach a link to that video as well. And uh, it just goes on and on. So, definitely a good read. Um, if I missed anything, please let me know. Attach your comments or your videos below, of course. Uh, it's a beautiful day. Enjoy what you can.